Y'all, what is up? It's your girl, EJ, the TV junkie, back with another quick thoughts over from y'all. Season three, episode three. This particular episode, there was a lot going on, y'all, and we got to talk about so many things. Let's start out with Boyd, because we all know that Boyd has been in this, he's just been in this spot where he is really, really, I would say that he's more afraid than anything, but we're definitely seeing a different Boyd. Now, they told him that he was going to break, and he said that they were not going to break him, that this place was not going to break him. But more and more and more, these monsters are determined to break Boyd. And in my opinion, I feel like they are actually accomplishing the mission. Boyd is doing things that's a little more reckless than what his character tends to do. Boyd actually wants to get out here and catch one of these monsters. He wants to catch one. He wants to study it because he wants to finally be on the offense instead of always having to play defense. And I completely understand that. I, while I agree with Boyd and what he's trying to do, I just think he needs to stop trying to move so fast with it. I think he needs to take a step back, make a plan, and really, really stick to that plan. This is something that Donna was also saying to him, like, like what's your plan? You're just going to go out here all willy-nilly? Like, no, that is not the play. And then, of course, his son, you know, he has this baby on the way, and Donna reminds him of that. Now, speaking of babies, y'all, let's go ahead and talk about Fatima, because we know that last week, Fatima found something that she really enjoyed. For whatever reason, riding food seems to be something that she can keep down. It seems to be something that this baby is craving. And y'all know, I said that this is a little demon baby. I don't know, but it feels like <laughs> this baby is definitely not a, a regular baby. I, I don't know. But Tilly's going to see her, y'all. And is it me or do y'all think that there is something up with Tilly? Because I'm just saying, I am got my eye on Tilly, y'all. But Tilly actually sees her and she tries to comfort her and let her know, like, look, I used to lick eggshells when I was in my second trimester. Like, people do weird things sometimes. And that's not untrue. People do seem to do weird things when they're pregnant and they eat weird things. But riding food? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But she also then goes and, you know, wants to show her the cards, you know, wants to share this part with her. Now, when they go to start reading the cards, this whole crow actually comes flying through the window, right? So there is definitely a meaning behind there that is definitely some symbolism. We know that we always see the crows whenever someone new comes into the town, whenever they see that tree, the next thing is that they're seeing the crows, right? What exactly it means, I don't know, but hey, we know that it means something. So anyway, y'all, let's move to the next character because the next character that we want to talk about is going to be Kenny. Kenny is still reeling from all the things that happened with, from his parents passing away, especially with the latest death of his mom. He's just losing everything around him. Now, they went back out into the woods because they need to get the food. The problem is, is that as far as they go out, it's not exactly that easy to bring all the food back. So, of course, you know, we have this whole thing where we're trying to beat the daylight. Of course, they have a little bit of shelter there if they do need to take shelter. But the problem is, is that Jade is still seeing things. And with Jade still seeing things, it causes a little bit of a complication there. Now, Kenny, of course, doesn't want to hear anything that Christy has to say. And you can tell that he's just still right now, this is still very hard for him. You know, I don't want to say he in his feelings because I mean, this is his mom. She passed away. And of course, he has the right to still feel a certain type of way, but he still just wants to get the job done. He'll want to do all this yapping. Now, Jade is really, really seeing things and nobody really understands what is going on with Jade, but he is seeing things visually, sort of like how Tabitha used to just randomly see these things. But to me, Jade is like on a whole nother level, almost like almost like uh, the the new young man that's there. I don't know why I cannot think of his name, but I'll think of his name later. It'll pop up to me. But almost like how he sees things so visually, it's like Jade is just, I, I don't know. It's just weird to me. Maybe he's one of the many people who have been called as well because last week we learned that Tabitha found out from Victor's 
a father that his mom had been seeing these things and she felt like she was being caught. And I feel like Jade is playing this really big piece in all of this as well. I don't quite know exactly what it is, but I do feel like there is going to definitely be something uh, that Jade is going to have to tie together because when it all comes down to it, they all gonna have to work together in order to figure this out. Everybody needs to stop uh, having their little things that they keep to themselves and they need to start working together so they can put all of the pieces together instead of one person having this little piece and one person having this little piece. We need all these pieces together so we can get up out of here, y'all. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about the fact that Christy has actually got caught in a trap trying to go chase after Jay because this place is really, really, really you know, getting to him. So he needs to get away. So she tries to go talk to him, but gets caught in a bear trap. Now we could already tell from the first time when Jim and Kenny were out here that people lived out here, that they had somehow, you know, found a way they built some houses. They were, they, they had food, but they also had all of these little totem poles and things like that with these weird little things on them. And Jade seemed to believe that maybe this was their way of keeping the monsters out. And that's the same thing I said. So when he went over there and took those rails and that one fell down, I was like, I don't know how this is going to work out, y'all. I'm feeling like something is going to happen, but I don't know. I guess we just gonna have to wait to find out. But Chrissy gets caught in that bear trap. They were able to get her out. And now they just gonna have to wait it out because there is no way that they're going to be able to make it back into the town before night falls. Right. So let's go ahead and move on to our next character, y'all, which is going to be our boy, Ethan. Our little man, Ethan, is going through it, y'all. Ethan, Jim, Julie, all of them are just going through it for one thing. We don't even know what happened to their mom. Well, we know, but they don't know what happened to their mom. They really think that their mom has been unalive. Jim is the only one that's still holding out hope. But even Ethan, Ethan, a little child, you know, he's completely given up. And that is so awkward for him. But I think at this point, especially after that whole thing where Victor just kind of just let it all out on little man, I think at this point, Ethan is just, done believing that his mom could have ever survived any of this. And Julie has really been irking my nerves with her whole attitude about this whole situation, talking about way to go with the parenting. I'm just like, who knows how to handle any of this? Like, people think that just because you're the parent, you're supposed to know every last single thing. But this is one of those situations that is just kind of like, you don't know what to do. You know, at the same time, you wanted to go out there and try to find your wife. But on the other hand, you didn't want to leave your children. Like what, that is an impossible choice to have to make. But she is a teenager and I, you know, it is what it is. But Jim keeps getting bombarded. Jim keeps getting these calls, right? He's getting these calls from his, other son, Thomas, who we know has actually passed away. We know that Thomas uh, fell off of a changing table when he was a baby. So how is he getting these calls, y'all? And that's not the first time that he has actually gotten a, or I ain't gonna say got a call, but remember when he was on that walkie-talkie and somebody started talking to him and I don't think nobody else could hear it except for him? Y'all, these monsters is not playing no games with them. And the way they was talking to Jim was out of line. Like, they didn't have to do him like that. Like, go check on, like, Julie is getting kind of dark. And I was like, y'all don't have to do him like that. Next thing you know, Jim is running out of there trying to find Julie and Ethan after what the, you know, the voice over the phone said, because clearly it's not Thomas. But, you know, he gets multiple calls from them. And I'm like, dang, y'all just going to torture him like this. This is too much, y'all. Like, this is too much for him. But, you know, there's that. And then there's one of the biggest moments to me. Uh, one of the most intriguing moments was with Tabitha. Tabitha, you know, remember, is in the real world. Tabitha is trying to figure everything out. She's gotten a lot of information. Now she finds out about the tree, right? Because, you know, remember there was a tree with all the bottles on it. I think multiple people have popped up into this tree. Well, Victor's mom actually has made a replica of this. 
And she's looking for her. The dad tells her, like, look, this is just this is a replica of the tree. The real tree is, you know, about 40 minutes away. So she wants to go there. So remember, Tabitha has had no sleep at this point. But when she is having like some stomach aches or whatever, and he tells her that there's some crackers in there and she pulls it out and she sees that bracelet, the same bracelet that she said that she made for her husband is the same bracelet that Victor's mom made for her husband. And of course, Tabitha is like, uh -uh, nope, I don't believe it. This is a trick. And so she just kind of loses it because she thinks that she's still in Fromville. She does not think that she's in Camden, Maine. She's like, there is no way. How did we go from here to here? Like, how did I just happen to end up here in Maine and just happen to end up with you and just happen to be going to this tree and you just happen to be having this bracelet that looks just like my husband. Like she thinks that they are really, really messing with her. Right. And Victor's father is like, there is no way that we are about to stop now. You done came into my world, just popped up with my son's lunchbox. And now you talking about you want to no, know we're about to go to this tree, Tabitha. And so he's trying to close the door. She's trying to get out the car and then he drives off and boom. They get hit by an ambulance, y'all. And that's not even the worst part. The worst part is that as they're, you know, he's knocked out and she kind of comes through. And then all of a sudden the ambulance stops and the ambulance says, I can't. There's a tree in the way. And y'all, Tabitha's face, I don't know if that was the face of, oh my God, I cannot believe this is happening again. Or I'm about to see my family again. Like, Maybe it was a little bit of both, y'all. I don't know. But we all know what happens when you see the tree in the road. So here we are right back at this point. But at least Tabitha is going to be armed with more information. And the fact that Victor might get a chance to see his father again, that right there, that is some hope there. I mean, I feel like Victor needs some sort of win. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure he doesn't want his father stuck in the same place that he's in. I don't know, y'all. There's just a lot of emotions, a lot of thoughts, so many things. I need to know what y'all think about this whole from situation. What did y'all think about this episode? What do y'all think the crow going through the window means? Do you guys think that Tabitha and her family are about to be reunited again? How do you think this whole thing will play out if Victor gets to be reunited with his father at this older age. Go ahead and get the conversation started down below, guys. Meanwhile, if you like this video, make sure to go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to your girl channel. Turn on your notifications so that you do not miss out on any of my future From content. Now, last but not least, guys, every Monday, my girl Tamika Zen and I, we go live and we discuss From in full detail, talk about all the things, have a conversation, and we would love to have a conversation with you as well. So make sure to come and join us live, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.